A Utah man has a passion for drums and more importantly for the people who make them. In this week's installment of Uniquely Utah, Fox 13's Todd Tanner introduces us to Andy Jones and the Africa Heartwood Project. These were the sights and sounds at Ogden's Eccles Arts Center last Friday night. Dozens of people coming together for a night of fun and fundraising because these drum beats actually sustain heartbeats somewhere far away. It started 12 years ago with one man and one drum. I actually came home with a drum that they had helped me carve. When Andy Jones and his wife Kayla married, they embarked on an unusual adventure. What we kind of describe as a humanitarian honeymoon. They spent three months in Ghana volunteering in a refugee camp. We thought we'd teach English, maybe teach some music. We spent some time in a village where there were some drum carvers. Basically their only market was to make a drum and go set it out on the road and hope that some car is going to drive by and buy the drum. When I came back and was going to school, one of those connections in that village asked us if we'd help them sell their drums. Um, we said, sure, you know, I have no idea how to get drums here. I don't have any money to buy them. Um, but if you can manage to send some drums, then I'm sure I could find a way to sell them. That was then. This is now. I thought if we can make it work for one drum carver, then why can't we make it work for a lot of drum carvers? Uh, this is the warehouse, the drum warehouse. Rather than sitting on the side of a road, these drums are sent to Utah, listed online, and shipped to buyers around the world. About 100 artisans from five countries are now involved, selling 3,000 drums a year. The success even extends to caring for some who aren't able to care for themselves. The operation that Andy runs out of this simple warehouse on Salt Lake City's west side supports an orphanage on the other side of the world. That orphanage that we started in 2008 is in the same refugee camp that my wife and I went to in 99. It's home to 30 boys and girls. This is a crocheted skirt that was made by the, some of the girls at the orphan home as part of the vocational training center that we set up. I mean, they're all enrolled in school full-time um, medical care. When I go there and spend time at the orphan home, they sometimes slip up and call me dad. You know, they, we have that kind of a relationship. We'll uh, call them on their birthdays, or they'll talk to my kids on the phone. My own kids here. From artisans to orphans, the self-sustaining African Hardwood Project is the result of an unusual honeymoon that's never ended. That's so neat. Andy also leads free drum sessions like the one you saw in the story. If you're interested in supporting the African Heartwood Project, visit our website, fox13now.com, and we'll link you to theirs. Some of those drums are also for sale at the Dancing Crane store in Salt Lake City.